we're going to pick you. So this is what they say. So this was one of the splits of the Morris Science Temple of America. And that split still exists till this very hour. You understand what I'm saying? It says, we as heads of the prophet's temple fell asleep at that point by being confused over the passing of our prophet, which they knew you would not be expecting any surprise. And that, so they thought, was the time for them to put him over. But I had, but I had stated in the outset, in advance of official work, that in view, in view of passing of the prophet and the much confusion that was rampant, at the time, we would have been able to do anything effective except choose a grand treasurer. So what happened at this convention was when they, you're going to read about it in a minute, but what happened at this convention was they asked Emiliel, can you put Kirkman Bay on the uh, the flyer uh, for the convention as Supreme Grand Advisor? Emiliel honored that and gave him honorary credentials, put him on that flyer, but he didn't know that they was using that to try to claim he was the head of the organization. Emil Eels explains that in a minute. He says, uh, uh, the grand treasure. So what he was saying that we had no ability to really do anything except to choose a grand treasure. In other words, the process of choosing one in any type of official capacity must be met with a certain process. And he said, the only thing that we could do at that time would choose a grand treasurer and a board of trustees, which the prophet said himself, we should have. Anything else I declared would be unofficial. So in other words, even if he popped up as a Supreme Grand Advisor, it's still unofficial till the next regular meeting of the Supreme Grand Council. He, Kirkman Bay, was made advisor anyway, but I knew I had been given power by the prophet in the first article of the Constitution to change anything went, that went wrong. In other words, because he was the head of the organization, if he was to make a mistake, he, would ab he was able to change it by the Constitution that governs the Morris Science Temple of America, the divine constitution and bylaws. That's what governs the Morris Science Temple of America. You don't make rules outside of that. Anyway, the same thing exists today. See, the time of reckoning is here right now. And they know it. They watching. They know it. The time of reckoning is here right now. They mad at me because the way I do my presentation. Uh-uh. You better get right. Now, let me read it one more time. So you have the law as laid down by him, Drew Ali, and you will be required to answer for yourself in that day and to choose now who you will follow, whether it's Kirkman Bay or Noble Drew Ali, the prophet of our God of law. And I'm going to expect you at the next convention that you may forego things amiss because to follow anyone now except Drew Ali, you have no part with him. I'll say again, to follow anyone now except Drew Ali, you have no part with him. I hope I have made myself and the cause clear to you. And if you not write further information, if you not, I write further information. These people have made up an organization as a reflection of Prophet Noble Drew Ali's organization. And now we must get busy. So what you're looking at, when you're looking at this other organization, you're looking at a group of people that has created a Masonic Shriners organization under the name of Morris Science Temple of America. That's all you're looking at. When you look at these pictures right here, you see the leader that 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 sideswiped Emily Ill and the Prophet Noble Drew Ali turning the organization called the Morris Science Temple of America into a Masonic type of organization and renaming it Morris Science Temple of America Incorporated and a reflection of the Morris Science Temple of America, but not the exact thing. And if you look to the picture to the left on his fans right there, you see a law. Or you put the picture in the middle, 
You see, Sultan Allah, I want you to hold on to that because that means something. Well, that means something. It means something. It means something more than what people think it means. What more people would understand that it means. When you look at the teachings of the Prophet Noble Ali and the head Prophet Noble Ali, you would never see him have a marked up face. You would never see him have a marked up face. And the reason why you won't see him have a marked up face because there's certain things to go with marking up your face, and that's called concealing the light. Do you feel what I'm saying? And so anyone with a marked up fez, they're hiding something. They're hiding something. Unfortunately, I got to call a spade a spade. I got many friends who are masons and shriners to some degree. Uh, 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 they're my friends, I would imagine. I hope I'm a friend of theirs. I don't know if they're a friend of mine. But with, with that being said, um, uh, we got to call a spade a spade. The Prophet Noble Dr. Ali said the Moorish Americans, we are the revealers of the light. Well, well, when you when you get into this fraternal thing, you become a concealer of the light which they shine to you. And there's some things that you cannot share that could probably save somebody life intellectually, spiritually, economically and every other way. And so you become a part of the problem when you start walking down this path. But with that being said, I just want you to pay attention. Many people uh, would 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 look at the the fans of the one in the middle that says sultan and then it got the the scimitar and the star and it has a law on the bottom but many people haven't paid attention to the other fans that he has called a law on the top now those are degrees that he's putting forth sultan is the head of the islamic state and Allah is the all supreme so, being his name is Charles Kirkman, and it says, Kirkman Bay, and it says he's from Mo Bridge, South Dakota. And his date of birth is 1885. You follow me? According to this document of him traveling with the prophet. But if we look just a little bit further, we will find that on his registration card for the draft he writes on there that he was born 1896 now wait a minute wait a minute and it says again mobridge south dakota so in filling out this he was born 1885 and 1928 and that is the the ship manifesto on the draft card he was born 1896. This is how you know that a Mickey is gone up into the, the Campbell juice. And then on his burial plaque, he was born in 1898. First of all, when, when infiltration happened, identities are really messed up. It's a lot of different type of information on people background so you can't really discover who they are. This is the same thing happened when I cover uh, Tariq Nasheed. It says he was born in 74 one minute. Another minute it said 77 and then, I mean 73, and then the, I finally found out he was born in 1969. But in all before, after digging all the layers about, it, it took about three different birth dates that was appearing to be official until I found and confirmed the official. But that's what they do with infiltrators. They really cover them up very, very well. You see, but in this age of technology, we're able to just look in just a little bit more to try to figure out who's who. and. On that 1898, we also go to the census report, right? And in the census report, this one reads 1896, like his draft report card. So we're going to go that he was born in 1896. What does that mean? That doesn't mean much. It just means that somebody is lying and if you're lying, you have a reason to lie. So this is the census report. That's you'll shake that and you'll They're be trying to, to give us the shake. You follow me? They're trying to give us the shake. 
We're going to get into that in a minute. One of the things that we have to look at, too, is that they try to say that Kirkman Bay went to Howard University as well as went to the same schools as Prophet Noble Drew Ali. Well, he told the census auditor that he didn't graduate. That he didn't go to school. The census work recorded the highest grade for Charles K had completed as none. Where do they get this information that he graduated Howard University? Where do they get this information? Because according to what he told the census taker is that he ain't highest graduated was none. You, you, you get what I'm saying? So they making a fictitious image up of this guy and saying that he's doing work for the profit. Are y'all still with me? Press but seven anyway, if y'all still with me. Story. And then it says, it was agreed by unanimous vote that in any of the literature where Moorish Holy Temple of Science is found, the name of Moorish Science Temple of America is to be used instead. Do y'all see how they changed that up? And now, to, even to this day, people be talking crazy like Moorish Holy Temple of Science don't exist. You see how much influence that they have had on the Moorish Science Temple of America thought? People walking around don't even know the understanding of why the Moorish Holy Temple of Science is important. Stay with me now. What consideration shall Sister M.D. Ali receive financially? By unanimous vote, Sister M.D. Ali shall receive from each Look, temple throughout the United States the cape. They wearing the cape. You know what I mean? That's their thing. The prophet ain't never wearing no cape. I can't find no picture with no prophet in no cape. Somebody might can find one and I change my mind. But right now, this is a Shriner thing. You know what I mean? And, 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 and it doesn't surprise me at all because, again, we see... Uh, um. We see what Kirkman Bay does. He wear uh, uh, his fez with, with markings on it. You follow me? He wears his fez with markings on it. Um, he he implement capes into the equation. And, 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 and sometimes people be looking at these fezes with marks on them as some standard. Now, back in the day, they was real fancy with it. Look at that one right here. Good night. Look at him. They was real fancy with it. So I can't really say uh, much about the artwork that I mean on um, Kirkman Bay Fez, but I do know that's not Moorish as it relates to the teachers of the Prophet over Drew Ali. And I will say that I'd use this as an example, right? I will say that um, I'm of the thought that Kirkman Bay and those over there right now have a secret uh, 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 organization called Morris Science Temple of America Incorporated, no different than Hella Temple. When you look at Morris Science Temple from the Kirkman Bay faction or portion, they're nothing but another order in the same spirit or energy of the Shriners. That's my point. Now, why is that so important? The reason why that is so important is because there's certain principles that come with these organizations when you practice them that is not consistent with Prophet Noble Drew Ali. AI teaching. Bay, he said, Cape in the closet, Mo. <laughs> it's not consistent with the Prophet's teachings. Um, and so, um, let me zoom out real quick. And so, as you can see on his crown, he basically just got a variation of the uh, the the scimitar and the crescent of the Shriners. It's just a variation of it. But again, just like I show you right here, there are different variations of the scimitar and that people were wearing back in the day. You know, so who knows? But I do know that he brought a Shriners element to the Morris Science Temple of America without no doubt. And the prophet seems to me was trying to pull everyone away from this type of concept where we get information, conceal the information, and it benefits us and not the world. And then we think we do some charity and then the world is able to benefit from our charity as opposed to 
being able to give people the whole truth. And so when you look at this, you follow me? And you look at these capes. These are old capes right there. You follow me? These are old capes. Yes, sir. Old capes in the building. So at the end of the day, and the cult itself, developed a year ago when Claude Green, Grand Vizier, pay attention to that name, Grand Vizier, you follow me? Grand Vizier was slain. Prophet Noble Drew Ali, head of the cult, was arrested in connection with Green's death, but was released. He died a month ago, and stories circulated in the Negro section are that the death was a result of a beating administrated by Green followers. No tuberculosis. No, nah, that's that's that that's a made up story that came later. Uh uh. Mm mm. That's a made up story. Wednesday, a police raid was made to rescue a Negro who had been kidnapped by cult member shooting, stating when the cult members refused police permission to enter the temple. Word that. One second, let me roll it for you. Word that members of the order were gathering in secret meetings that might send police uh, to the cult's Indiana Avenue Hall, but only four Negroes were there. Police, however, found several revolvers and repeating rifles, automatics. Anyway, pay attention to that term, vizier. It says, Claude Green, Grand Vizier. A vizier is a high official in some Muslim country, especially Turkey. Y'all remember how people try to say that we walk around with Turkish fezes and now they using term vizier? Pay attention to that. Pay attention to that because it means something. Now you're going to see here, I'm not going to read the whole article. The gun battle was fought between police squads and a group of colored men who had kidnapped Char Charles Kirkman Bay, Grand Vizier, of the Moore Science Temple of America, a colored religious cult in the apartment at 4133 Grand Boulevard. Do you notice the title being used, Grand Vizier? There's a reason why. There's a reason why. Think about it now. It's going to hit you in a minute. It's going to hit you in a minute. Why they use that and then how Kirkman Bay flip it and trick Emiliel in the Moors with Grand Advisor. Because <laughs> it doesn't make sense that a Grand Advisor would be the head, but a, a Vizier is a, a head statesman in a Muslim society in Turkey. But this is how he would be able to flip it. You feel what I'm saying? And get him to be the Grand Advisor. And then he just go with it. The grand advisor is the head. How is the grand ad how is the advisor the head of anything? <laughs> but people went for it. People went for it. Do you know what I mean? I mean and with a secret vote at that. Anyway. The fight started shortly. The fight started shortly. Listen to this. The fight started shortly before noon when a squad of police marched into a large apartment house on South Parkway near 42nd Street in a quest of kidnaps of Charles Kirkman, who styles himself Grand Vizier Bay of the Moorish National Temple of Science of America. Now, this article seems as though that they got this straight from his mouth. It, it, it appears when someone says styles himself, because I say we are the more science temple of America styled as styled as noble temples. You follow me? So when it says he styles himself as Grand Vizier Bay of the Moorish National Science Temple of America, that shows you to me that that was the organization on side of the prophet's organization waiting to spring forth if the prophet would have just walked away and Claude Green would have been able to pull off saying he was the grand sheep. 
It said Kirkman, perhaps because he aspired the throne made vacant in June by the death of the chief protector of Islam, was torn from his breakfast table this morning by four cultists and carried away. Now, here we go. Okay. I had a dream about this. That's right. The five Claude Green had to give him to him. Watch this. Let me give another share real quick. Let me show you something real quick. Let me show you something real quick. The reason why I know they got it unlawfully. This is how I know. One second. This is how I know they got it unlawfully, right? Right here. Look at this. You see what that says? On this paper right here, this is an injunction that E. Meliel filed in the court. And what does he ask him to return? When is he asking them to return? Somebody, the charter flags corporation what? What email what email you tell them to return? Corporation papers. Corporation papers. They took all that from temple number one. By the way, they took that all from temple number one by the way of Claude Green. Charter, flags, corporation papers, badges and buttons, charms, identification cards, questionnaires, constitution bylaw, one ad that book, books, books and receipts, one grip, and material seal that value $200.